Here we are with Harem and the Labyrinth of Another World, episode 9. So if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> with the morning ritual. Goddamn. Hell yeah. <laughs> but I must be reasonable. I mean, they have to make money, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, so far that is like the dream life, right? Having your own house, having a beautiful girl that you can pretty much do whatever you want with, right? Um, but yeah, you have to make money, right? Otherwise you can't keep paying for the house and all that stuff. I mean, obviously, you probably want to extend your harem, right? So you have to work for that. And yeah, someone pointed, I, I said that maybe the Neko girl, the cat girl, would be maybe the blacksmith, because she looks like from her from her outfit like it, in my opinion. But someone pointed out that it's probably not her, it's probably the purple hair elf girl, because the Neko girl can't be it, because she is not a dwarf, right? Why would a dwarf have cat, uh, uh, cat ears, right? So, makes sense. So, it might be the... Small purple hair elf girl, which is also kind of weird because I don't know any dwarfs that have like elf like ears, right? But otherwise, there's only the blonde elf girl and the big booba girl, and I don't know if any of those would be it. <clears throat> I mean, best case scenario, I would say maybe the, the red hair girl with the big boobas could maybe be it. Hmm, I don't know. I guess we have to wait and find out. Makes sense, right? If you have to pay, you want to get the most out of it. It's large. So, n yeah. But if someone beaten it, wouldn't it go away? Nobody's beaten it. 91? First Emperor's Party? <laughs> That's a big boy, Labyrinth. <clears throat> Are they in front of a boss door or something? Yep, boss door for the first floor, I guess. It's so funny that they stand there and wait. So it seems like maybe, I mean, we don't know. Maybe Labyrinth don't go away if he beats the boss. <clears throat> or maybe they all died. Here we go. Level one. Oh, she's fast. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, the first the other dungeon, the first boss was more difficult than this shit. <laughs> Dude, this was what the fuck? Yay, more kobolds. <laughs> Let's go straight to floor two or three. 
<clears throat> yeah, it seems like the other labyrinth was more dangerous. And back home. Now they can go straight to floor 2 every time, right? This is so handy, right? Just go in and out how you please. Some seeds. I mean, I wouldn't be hyped to go into the labyrinth either if I know that I have to fight a bunch of kobolds that are so weak. I would be like, yeah, let's take a break. Let's come back later if I'm having more motivation to deal with this shit. Yeah. Digging with your hand should be the last resort. <laughs> Sharpen. Oh, fence, okay. So maybe we don't get much action this episode either. I thought maybe we would we would we would go far into the second labyrinth, but seems not like it. Oh, he still has his tracksuit. Did he got more muscular? Indeed. That's pretty small, but I guess it will do. <clears throat> okay, there was a special order. Bath cup, okay. <laughs> Yeah, getting some good time with Roxanne in the bath. <laughs> Indeed. <clears throat> but he would need a pretty big one, right? For two person. Hmm. <laughs> I guess that would also be like a very, that doesn't sound expensive. After how much we got for Roxanne, that seems like nothing, right? 2000. And since he can get the crystals and boost them like crazy, right, with this skill, he shouldn't have any problems making money, I would guess. Plus all the other stuff he fights and can sell. Oh. Interesting. 
fourth floor on row. I guess we skipped the floor already. <clears throat> oh, is he getting into cooking now? He gets into cooking, I guess. I th I think they said that Roxanne can cook too, right? But I guess he's also into cooking, maybe. Like, stuff from Japan. I mean, I guess, like I said, I think that would be a good money source, right? If you can make food that no one knows. And if, it, if they like it. Thick and tasty. <laughs> exactly. Extra. Oh, here we go. Tribe. Am's OST. Gives me some Final Fantasy VII vibes. Like Slums Walmart a market. More food. More food. I guess he gets into cooking. Next boss. A sheep. A big sheep. He doesn't want her to get hurt. <laughs> I guess so, right? Eventually. I mean, there are dozens of more floors. Oh. Is it like transferring damage maybe? <laughs> he goes all out. Just spam one skill. Recover MP, use it to heal. Spam it more, get more MP. Oh. <clears throat> so more like a... And he didn't realize it really. Hell yeah. Okay, next, which floor are we at now? Did they show it on the screen earlier and I missed it? Something good. Oh, 
for 2000 that's a big boy Does it even fit through the door? Let's go. Yeah, this must be an experience for her, right? Because she isn't accustomed to... to, like, sitting in water with her whole body. They're just, like, used to... A small bucket with a bit of water to clean with a towel. <clears throat> there must be a better way. <laughs> I guess so. A man has to do what a man has to do. Is he completely exhausted from all the Magic? No. Seems fine. Of course, that's the point. Yeah, if it would be a bit smaller, that would be easier to fill, right? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hello! God damn! Oh, soap. Alchemist drop. Of course he did. Mm-hmm. We are getting very slippery here. Hell yeah. Of course. Dude, how he describes it. <laughs> So descriptive, right? <laughs> mm hmm. Oh. 
<laughs> God damn. This lucky bastard. <laughs> I can't imagine. Oh, <laughs> here we go. I bleep your bleep too. <laughs> She gets into the mood. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, for him it's kind of normal, right? A bath, but for her it's not. God damn. <laughs> Every inch of your body has to be cleaned. <clears throat> Hell yeah. After credit scene? No. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I would say there wasn't much going on, right? I mean, we only saw some snippets of the labyrinth, right? And we beat the first floor boss. We saw that. And then I guess they beat the second floor boss off screen because they said they should go to the fourth floor. So I guess they already were on the third floor by that time and we didn't saw the boss. And then they fought the big cheap, which I think was another boss. And that might have been the boss for floor three. So they might be now at fl four floor. Or maybe it was even further and we they killed another boss off screen. So we don't know that yet, I would say. And yeah, otherwise Michio got the alchemist class job, which I think we don't we didn't know yet. So that happened off screen, I guess. And Michio gets into cooking, right? Which makes sense because, like I said, that could be a good money source, right? If he can make food from Japan that no one else knows in this world and it tastes good for them, people would be after it, right? If it's something that only he can make, maybe, <clears throat> and would be a good money source. So maybe at that point, at some, or at some point, he wouldn't have to go into the labyrinth anymore because he can just make all the money he needs to get a good living in this world um, from making food. But I guess the labyrinth will always be a part of this anime because it's basically in the title right um but yeah otherwise <clears throat> it calms down right like i said we didn't have much action in this episode like last episode not much action and it's more like world building if you want to call it that or maybe like um life building like how they live in this world right getting a house Getting a garden, putting down some seeds, getting a bath, pop more of that stuff. The bath scene was pretty good, I would say. <laughs> was a pretty long scene, right? Um, and yeah, I would say otherwise it calms down right now. And not much is happening otherwise. So maybe it would be a good time to introduce a new character that joins the party. Because again, Michio mentioned it. First he mentioned it like, hey... At some point, we have to increase our party when he was talking about the uh, uh, the blacksmith stuff, right? And now he's like, yeah, I put all the burden on uh, Roxanne, and because she's in the front line, she's the warrior class, basically, so she goes in first. 
and then Michio goes in afterwards and basically finishes the fight, right? So all the burden is on Roxanne and he doesn't want that obviously because he doesn't want her to die or get hurt or whatever. So again he mentions that he needs to increase his party, right? Size. And so yeah, I guess it would be a good point maybe to introduce a new character when since everything seems to calm down r right now. And yeah, I guess we will see. I mean, how many, many episodes uh, episodes get this anime? I think 13. So we are next episode is 10 and then 13 and that's four more episodes. We have to see, right? But otherwise I would say not much happened in this episode, right? Nothing very interesting, right? Just more like lifestyle world building and some little bits of action and a long ass bath scene. <laughs> but yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching until next time. Bye bye.